Hi everybody, hope you're well. In the last video that I did on this, I looked at some really basic concepts, so I'm just going to quickly review those. That was the three things that you have to do to get blop, which was the building of the three best genetic skills of the horse, aging to 10, and also getting 20 uh, wins, so 21st places in competitions. Now I'm going to move on from that. We talked about aging in the last video, so I'm not going to talk about that. And I'm also not going to talk about the competition wins in this video. What I'm going to talk about in this video is I'm going to focus specifically on the building of the three skills and one particular part of that. So to build the three skills, as I mentioned in the previous video, you have to do training, you have to do rides, and you have to do competitions. Okay. In this video, I'm going to focus on rides. Okay. And I'm going to explain those. This is one of the most more, more complicated concepts. So I'm going to focus on that today. So in within rides, um, there are the three basics. So ignoring beach, okay? Beach is not relevant to blopping, okay? Ignore beach. The only three you want to be concerned with are trot, gallop, and steep slope. And within these three basic ones, there are two subdivisions. So there are short rides, as you can see, short and long, and this is the same for gallop as well, and also for steep slope. So in those, any short ride is between 30 minutes to an hour. Any long ride is between an hour and a half to up to 10 hours, okay? And those rides all do different things, okay? So obviously trot rides always give you trot, gallop rides always give you gallop, and steep slope rides are to do with jumping, okay? But there are six skills. There is obviously stamina, speed, dressage, gallop, trot, and jumping. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about these now. So first off, I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to hover over. So if I hover over an R for so a short trot ride, we can see something immediately here. So we've got speed, dressage, and trot. Now what happens if I go to an R and a half? Suddenly it's stamina, dressage, and trot. Okay. So one of the things changed there. Speed became stamina when we switch to long ones. So let's look at gallop. Gallop, short gallop, so let's look at short gallop. We've got speed, dressage, and gallop. So what happens if I change to long? Suddenly it becomes stamina, dressage, and gallop. So once again, speed became stamina when we switched to long rides rather than short. And we go to steep then, and we hover over trot, or sorry, short, steep slope rides. And once again, we've got speed, we've got dressage, we've got jumping. Now if I hover over long rides, it suddenly becomes stamina, dressage, and jumping. So, a pattern might be emerging if you can notice it already. So I'm just going to go to my question center page because this is what I want to show you. So down here we've got rides explained, okay? And within this, okay, we can notice something quite immediately. Short rides, okay, of any type will always give you speed. So speed's in green here, as you can see. So we've got speed, speed, and speed. Another thing emerges, long rides of any type always give you stamina, okay? So short rides give you speed, long rides give you stamina. So that means if you have a horse that has both stamina and speed as one of its top three genetic skills, you're gonna have to complete both a short type of ride and a long type of ride to gain the speed from the short rides and the stamina from the long rides. Another thing emerges immediately here is dressage can be gained in any type. So doesn't matter if it's short or long, doesn't matter if it's trot, gallop or steep slope, dressage can be gained in all six. But then another thing, another thing appears. If you look at trot rides, you only gain trot. Gallop rides only gain gallop and steep slope rides only gain jump. So this is what you need to remember, okay? These three patterns, dressage can be gained in any type at any length. Speed can only be gained in short rides. Stamina can only be gained in long rides. And then trot rides can only give you trot. Gallop rides can only give you gallop. Steep slope can only give you jump. So if you remember that, you're going to make yourself, your life is so much easier. Now, there is one more thing I'm going to add, okay, which I want to explain. Now, you might be thinking, looking at that, you'll be thinking, right, well, if I have a horse that has dressage, I'm going to have to train all these six rides. No, you don't. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean right now. So this horse right now can do competitions, or sorry, not competitions, rides. So we're going to make it do some rides, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. So at the minute, this horse can gain all of these skills. 
So we'll just quickly board it. So I'll quickly edge this because I want to show you this as quickly as possible. Now I've just clicked to do long steep slope rides and you can see that suddenly it's only going to take away energy, right? Now what happens if we go, right, as we saw a couple of seconds ago, a long steep slope ride should give me dressage, stamina and jump, okay? Well, what happens if I switch it over to short? Suddenly only speed appears. And now the reason for this is, once you complete gaining a certain skill in a ride type, you can no longer get it in any of the other six types of rides. So if we have gained, we've completed getting dressage and we've completed getting jumping. So, um, and we've also completed getting stamina, okay? So that's why whenever we go into long, we can't get it. So what happens if I go to gallop? Same thing, stamina and dressage are gone, no matter what I go into. And the same thing in the long trot rides. And when I go into short rides, dressage is gone. So this is, and if I just hover over here quickly and view the details, and you can see in rides here. So you can see the stamina is 100% complete. So is dressage, and so is jumping. So there you go. I hope this is helpful, guys. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I hope you had a lovely day. Bye-bye.